Welcome to the Northern Univips, or it is a Sunday night and it's time for a little bit of chat, a little bit of fun. Tonight we have got on myself, Benny Vapes. We have also got on Steve Blazing Vapes 75. Arr, 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 arr. We've also got JP <laughs> James Review. Sorry. Right, guys. And uh, we've also got Vaping with CJ. And we've also got yeah. the man with the smoothest voice for radio, Mr. Hooks on Funk, Jay. Hello. Welcome, <laughs> welcome, one and all. If you are watching uh, and you are in the chat, do look at the chop and change it from top chat to live chat because you don't want to be a twat. Oh, that's a good point. Thank you. Yeah, I'm a twat. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll, uh... So what we've got tonight is we have got your bargains, we have got your wall of home, we've got a little bit of shinies. And we've got a little bit of whatever we decide to come up with. So, yeah. So, I'll just make sure everything's looking sweet and snuggly. And we're back. I can see you all. I can see chat. I can see. So, what we'll do first is we will go through chat and we'll let the man with the smoothest voice on radio, Ooh. Mr. Hook Tom Funk, would you do chat for us, please? Read chat? Yes, please. Yeah, sure. Let's uh, get that's been a while. <laughs> we have Mr. SVR, that's uh, Mr. Shrek of Vape Reviews. Uh, Fletch Roan, welcome to the show. We got Blazing her, 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 Vapes. Uh, we've got myself hooked on funk. Thank you. Uh, we have Mr. Frank and Miser. High five to you too, sir. Uh, Savage Simon. Oh, where's his buzzer? Where is his seven? Ah. There he is. We have uh, Benny Vapes, Vapor Queen Backy, Graham Mabberley, and we have uh, Free Rider Vapor. Welcome as well, Mike Haynes, uh, Mr. Anderson. <laughs> the gorgeous mods he makes. And um, Vape Queen, oh, I don't already said the hi to Baxter, and I think that was the name question mark, Mr. Skin Life. There he is, great show last night, mate. Thanks. And tu, 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 Mark H, how you doing? And uh, Live Lounge Liquids, what a win! And we have Cloud Chucker in. Anyone else? Did I forget anyone? You can see it now or shut up forever. Yeah, how'd you go? Anybody that's ghosting? Point. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. So, yeah, we also have a giveaway today. Um, so, I should say a gentleman's handshake, a Yorkshireman's handshake, a little shake of the hand, shake of the bollocks, whatever you want to call it. Um, it is from Hip Hop Juice. So, if you go over to Hip Hop Juice, you can use NUVS10 to get MUVS and you get 10% off. You can also <laughs> use it with, we'll show you with a discount code. Um, you can use it in there, and you get 10% off and 10% off. So that's 20% off, I think. Not 100% sure. <laughs> well, you're, well, you're 100% sure. <laughs> I'm not really, no, because I'll be oh. confused. <laughs> Which don't take much. This might have a little bit of discount. Yes, give you a little bit of discount. So go over and show him some love. Have a look, see what he's got. And, uh, yeah. Ooh, Mr. Devil you. Vapor's popped in. The Devil Vapor himself. The Devil Vapor. King <laughs> Jong Young. Oh, blowing no. everything about everybody up. <laughs> Just wait until Mr. Uh, what's his name? Johnson gets in. <laughs> yeah, he'll kick, he'll kick yeah. off then. <laughs> so before we go on, I would like to make say some um MFA has decided to pack in um uh, whatever's gone on between us. I do wish you luck, buddy. I hope you um whatever you decide to do next and you'll know, have a bit of time with family and that lot. Um because I have watched you for a few years, you know. So whatever's gone on between us, baggers, baggers, just enjoy your uh, little bit of break. If you come back, you come back. If you don't, you don't, but yeah, that's if you want. I probably don't watch it, but as far I'd say that we do wish him well. Definitely. Because I know his friends with Danny and his friends with Simon, so, you know, bygones be Ivan, just enjoy your time off, and uh, if you come back, come back. If you don't, you don't. So that's it. Mr. Skin Life is going through everybody in chat saying hello. Should have come on, mate, because said hello properly. Mr. Jacob Vapor. Hello. Jacob Vapor. So what we're going to go around is we're going to have a little bit of a buffet and see what everybody is vaping on. We will uh, start with James. Oh, thank you. <laughs> right, I am on. <laughs> thank you. And the Brunel's Mouse Lung on the V-Storm Eco. In that, say, I've got a little bit of... I did have another one on the desk, but that's on the floor now. Some nice mixy-mixy of the Raspberry Black. Give me a second. Oh. oh, now I'm back. 
I am on the Arbiter Solo on the Grist, and in that I am on Forbidden Islands Maui. Mm. Then it good. What is that? Here's an ice in that one. What what kind of flavor is it? Fra- flavor profile on that is ap- apricot, lychee, and peach. Ooh, that's sweet. I'm not a big fan of lychee. It can be a bit floral. Mm. But mm. I find it works well with them two flavors. Yeah, I can imagine. And that's that. me, and I'll pass it on to Mr. Steve Blazing Fates. Oh, I <laughs> uh, I've got the V Sticking VK530 with the drop 1.5. And in that, I've got some Digby's Grapple. Nice. And then I've got the Drag 3 with the White Rice Launcher. For some more Digby's, uh, Strawberries and Cream. Mm-hmm. And that is it for me. And I'll pass that down to young Joshua Wire. Thank you very much, Steve. Um, um, hello to everyone in chat. It's nice to be back on. So I've got a bit of Letus. I've, yeah, yeah. I've got a bit of Letus tonight. You've got some um, new tea. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> Early uh, So I'm on the SX Mini G class with the dragged out the old Zeus X again. Before I give that a whirl. Hashtag tonight. Zeus X. Hashtag Zeus X. Um, inside there, I have some Zeus juice for a million. Nice. Very nice stuff. Um, I'm on the Triad um, DNA 250C from Lost Lake with the trilogy on top of there. With some black reloaded, going all Zeus juice, and I've got the uh, Aspire. What's it called? Maria. Oh no, V Rod. Uh, v Rod. That's it. Aspire V Rod with the uh, Arbiter Solo sitting on top of there, courtesy of Hip Hop Juice and UVS Ten. Um. So yeah, got that there. And inside there, I have some Ultimate Salts Chilled Mango Nick Salt. Very nice. And yeah, There you go. You need so, a bubble glass for that. I were uh, well, uh, <laughs> well, well, <laughs> You need a bubble glass for that. What the solo? Yeah. I haven't found it too bad, to be honest. I'm not, I'm not really. I'm not really a hardcore MTL vapor, so it's. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I'd need the bubble glass. So I'm going to pass it on to the only man who hasn't gone yet, Mr. Rennie Vapes. Thank you. No, oh, and Hooks. Jay, oh. gone yet. Jay ain't gone yet. Jay, go on. It always happens. That's fine. You know, fuck <laughs> it. I'm going to show my mind. Sorry, Jay. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's Jay. fine. That's fine, dude. I love you too. I'm on. I, I, was, I was set for a whole sports event today and you know, it, it happened for two thirds of it. So I was a rock and Molly legend with a Tour de France skin. <laughs> which uh, the Dutch uh, have the uh, polka dot jersey now and the yellow jersey, and they won the stage today, so that was fun. On there, I have the, uh, this is the Tangu on top uh, with some cool spice cotton Ooh. there. Ooh. Yeah, in there I've got some raspberry and milk by the Rochford Project. And how, are you, how, have, how, how are you finding that raspberry milk? I had it in a uh, RTA first. Uh, it, it, it it wasn't hot enough for me, but now I got it in an RDA. It, it's more hotter. It, it's it's got a full taste of it. I really get like the milky kind, uh, you know, the milky part of it now. So I really really rocking this on the this RDA. Um, then I've got my uh, my X, you know, four one one. You know, Max was stepping one today, so there's my four one one. <laughs> Your face With a, a hell beast hell vape on top. In there, I've got some proper coils. If you can see that, yeah. And in there, I'm rocking a bit of the last Butterscotch Reserve. And last but not least, my Max with the 510 radio skin. On top is the, um, this is the new Z. Um, it's the, uh, what is it, a stock coil mo- uh, um, RTA. And in there, I've got some raspberry watermelon I made myself. That's me. So back to you, Benny. Watermelon sugar, hi. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Kim Jong Un, I think I've just found out who it is. Yeah, you can, if he puts A and a little fist, then it's on his cheek, Do you know what I mean? Just let himself down. <laughs> How you doing, cheek? Oh, dear. Right, so I am on the Deco Vespa with the Arbitor. On top, and inside that, I've got some clamberry from Tavapa, which I'm quite enjoying to be actually. I'm very enjoying. 
and I'm also on the solo with the solo. <laughs> I have a Brilliant. solo and the Good UK solo with some uh, black currant cotton candy mixed up myself, <laughs> which I'm quite enjoying. So we've got a few people in uh, chat that saying some uh, skin saying that he's got a two year old wrestling in his arms. <laughs> Which is not good. Uh, JP, what calls you rocking in the solo? It's what comes with the kit. Um, Swamp Thing is on the Death Wish Mods Mech Bogan edition for me tonight. Wow, that's a nice little bit of kit. Ooh, fancy. Very nice. Um, Shrek's disinfecting the coach. Dean's sending an email. And Mark H is on the AV Able Lava Kit with an Amatorian Lemon. Lemon Pocket. It's nice, it's Lemon Pocket. Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> not freaking A, Benny. It's A, not I. <laughs> I. I, A, K, I. 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 <laughs> Cloud took us on some Donut King vanilla custard. It's well nice. Well nice. So, yeah, so as you might have seen, that Jay has been showing off his uh, new skin for the 510 Radio. Smooth. Yeah, the 510 Radio. I've got a jingle so, for that. If you've been living under a rock, um, you might not know what's going on. This is the 510 Radio. The 510 Radio. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, So, like I say, if you don't know what's been going on, um, Disco has got a new job, so she's having to step down for a little bit. Um, so they're just putting the 510 connection on a hiatus for a little bit. Buddy has got a new thing. Tell them what it is, Jay. Well, uh, I'm going to try and uh, pick up my old love uh, called Radio again. And since, you know, we have a platform called the, the 510 Connection, I thought, why not try, uh, you know, something on Mixcloud because you can play music actually there without getting copyright strikes because you're paying for it and they're paying the artists and stuff like that. So I was thinking, you know, just um, give that a shot again. Um, I like doing that. I like making it. I like making jingles, uh, uh, you know, fun stuff, playing around with music and uh, just try to make an hour a week of, uh, you know, uh, good vibes, positive music. Um, an hour you can play on on your phone at work or you know in public transport or whatever. Just give you an hour of a, a good vibe. That's 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 gonna be the goal of the five ten video. So that's it. Yeah. So can you get so it's on an app then? Is Mixcloud is it? Is Mixcloud? Oh, Mixcloud is a website. You can uh, well, it's it's uh, it's a platform like YouTube is, but it's it's uh, but if you pay for it, like I said, uh, uh, the artist will. Uh, how do you call it? Uh, then you pay for like a, a license to play music so you can play any song you want instead oh. of youtube where well you can't play anything and even if you do have a license i could buy a license here to make radio and pay you know a couple of bucks a month to the organization over here in, in, in the netherlands but that won't give me the right to play music on youtube because they have their own rules and, and you know copyright stuff so i was thinking you know let's look a bit further and i i already did something on Mix a lot like years ago, putting some mixes on there. And um, uh, so I thought, why not give that a shot? So only 10 bucks a month or something. And I'm, I'm having a license, so to say, to play any song I want. So that's what I'm going to do. Mixcloud.com, the 510. Yeah. You want to drop it in? Have you got a link to drop in chat, Jay? I think uh, Savage, uh, Savage Simon is dropping in. Thanks, mate. Oh, is it? That's all right then. Yeah. Cloud, uh, because Mike Kane's saying, good to hear. Um, Jay, do you have a link? And yeah, no, Cloud Chucker said he's listened to number two and said it's really good. Oh, thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. It, I've got the backbone for the radio show in my head now. I just need to, you know, uh, uh, make some more jingles and make the segments more clear. And, and so it's it's work in progress. I've did uh, two uh, test broadcasts now on Mixcloud. And, um, but the fun thing about Mixcloud is they also have an app. So you can install it on your phone. You can join it for free, you know, with, just with your Facebook or just make up another uh, another account. It's totally free. You don't have to pay anything for it. So... And that's, that's, you know, what I'm going to do. Well, and maybe, you know, I think the 510 Connection, the live show on YouTube is 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 like a bit of an open end. It, let's call it season one and let's see when season two comes out. Um, tomorrow evening we have the last show. I'm, I'm uh, with, uh, you know, with some f uh, familiar faces on there as well, not just the disco and me. And, uh, you know, just waving goodbye. It's not a farewell, but it's it's just a little bit goodbye. And, uh, yeah, maybe later we'll be back on there. I might do, you know, a couple of shows on my own or with some guests or maybe even talking about some music over there or you know stuff like that um to get you guys on this mix cloud as well and, and show you a bit of what uh, what we're doing and you know there's there's even some some people from from the vape scene who who, who approached me and said, said like hey that's fun how do you do that and i was like 
you know, why don't we do more shows? Not just me. It's, it's not my, the five star video, but maybe some more people want, you know, to have an hour a week and do the same thing with, with their own style. Because, you know, I have a certain style, but I'm not into heavy metal and that kind of stuff, for example, or into jazz really deeply or into classical music. But if, well, you know, I've so, been told, I, I was listening, I heard you're having a punk night and you're also having a goth night. Maybe we can. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> maybe we can. That's, that's what I was told, that you're having some special guests and you've got to have a, a goth night and you've got to have a punk night. <laughs> we might, we might, we might, you know. <laughs> if you don't want to yeah. know what I'm on about, Bobo said oh, yeah. that he'd go on. Yeah, absolutely. And Graham said he'd go on. Yeah. yeah. So, so it, you know, if, if, if people like to do that, it's, it's like, um, um, well, we can organize that as long as be a bit of consistency in there. And, you know, people can deliver like, you know, every two weeks or every week for an hour of music and, and have some fun and, you know, make some jingles themselves or, you know, I'm happy to show the ropes and, and make some more out of it than just me doing that for an hour or and a half a week. So Yeah, yeah. no, it's somewhat different. It's somewhat, I've, I've, it is, yeah. I've, I've done, say, the podcasts, but I've never mm-hmm. heard of a, a radio show. Yeah. You know I mean? so, yeah. yeah. It'll be good, that. Um, Fletch Royne said, Oaks on phone, let's talk about movies. Yeah, let's do that after the show, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can talk about movies if you want, because I watched uh, Pitch Perfect again last night. It's a great film. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Pitch Perfect. Pitch Perfect. Have, it. Have you not I've seen got... it? No. Really? Oh, you got to watch it. It's good. Pitch Perfect, isn't it? It's good. Yeah, right There's right. no one watched it on here. Am I the only person that watches it? Yeah. I think I've seen it once. That's With Fat Amy? <laughs> it's great. Yeah. It's all right. I, I it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Wow, I've seen a couple, of, uh, yeah. <laughs> a couple of the um, what is it, uh, Sharknado series? Oh man, that's so bad. Oh, God. oh you know, I was flicking yeah, <laughs> through today and it was on the horror channel. It was yeah. uh, Mega Shark versus Giant Octopus, and it was just like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what is a good film if you're into these like monster type films. Um, the new Godzilla versus Kong, is it good? Yeah, yeah oh, it's amazing, good. it's amazing, yeah. Well, me and Mrs. We went to the cinema a couple of weeks ago, the first time in quite a while, and we saw A Quiet Place Part Two. Nobody um, ever seen Part One. Quite, quite one. I can't remember who was in it now, but it's it's basically, um, I think a meteorite something hits hit, hits the Earth, and all these like aliens totally ravage the Earth. It's almost like um, an Armageddon sort of everyone's living uh, hiding away, and we've got these monsters going around that only react. They're blind. But they only react to sound, and it's following this family. They're on a farm, and now they're trying to survive where they can't make a sound. It's all like if they go down a path, they've got a load of sand with them to put on the leaves so they don't uh. make a sound. And it's it's all sorts of stuff like that. It's pretty good. So we watched the the second one a couple of weeks ago. I heard a rumor that the um oh what they called the um oh fuck uh, what's the other horror uh, the Conjuring you know the Conjuring films oh yeah. They're based on loosely based off true stories. Okay, ghost uh-huh. stories. They say okay. they say off the true stories, but they're never true. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, so one thing picked up an, an aura idea from banging bin on eBay yesterday. Not bad. Mm-hmm. And Mowgli Vape saying Shatnado <laughs> versus Polar Vortex should be a thing. Oh yeah, why not? <laughs> Boris versus bad. Star Wars <laughs> Air was a good <laughs> it's ridiculous <laughs> being caught with his finger in the pie yeah. <laughs> uh, Free Rider oh. Wave watched uh, the Fast and Furious 9 yesterday Fast and 9 it's just like oh come on just it's in the franchise now come on do you know like, right I have never watched any of them uh, and yeah I don't know I mean, I watched, I've only been to see one of them that's it I watched, I watched up to Furious 5, and that's it. Oh, he didn't see it. He just retracted the message. <laughs> <laughs> well, probably not a movie. Sorry, Free Rider. <laughs> yeah, I've never watched any of it, any of Fast and Furious. I watched what you and I, 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 I was like flicking through, and I haven't seen Friday. Sorry, John. What's that? I said, I don't like John Cena as an actor. Oh, yeah. What he's, he's in. He's a wrestler normally, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. A wrestler, yeah. But mm. saying that, I don't like Dwayne Johnson. Oh, I don't mind Dwayne as a, Johnson. As, a, as an actor. I don't like I him. I think he's all right. Yeah, yeah I thought it was, I think he's all right. We're good in, he's um... great in Jumanji. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're good in that, yeah. yeah. Good See, good I did Jumanji. like the original Jumanji. 
Oh, with Robin Williams? Yeah, I didn't like it. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I enjoyed that like third it. one. And I had to watch it again straight after. <laughs> I enjoyed it. That's what that's what put me off. That's what put me off watching the remakes. No, you got got to watch it. It's completely different kettle of fish. Yeah, well, I mean, I was, I was flicking through the other night, and I'm watching it for ages, but I have got them on my um, iTunes. Is uh, Deadpool the first oh, one? Oh, I can lo- love them film. Deadpool one and two. Yeah, yeah, Deadpool's good. Yeah, Deadpool it's is just, good. It's just his little digs at uh, Wolverine, uh, Wolverine and uh, the best mates are out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, that's good. <laughs> Does rhyme with Polverine. Polverine. <laughs> <laughs> got a couple of nice tannins. The Rock Rocks, one thing. Yeah, I, like I say, I I think he's good. I, I watched him in um, what was that one where he's supposed to be good, where the gorilla suddenly grew and started beating up. Oh, Rampage. 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 Yes. Yes. Because I was a fan of that when I was a kid playing game. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember that with the going up top of the buildings and, stuff. and you had to yeah. smash it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean yeah. the only thing I haven't liked of his that uh, I've watched a few minutes of it and turned off. I think it was called the Tooth Fairy, where he's this big badass hockey player, and then he becomes a tooth. It's just like, oh. hey, what? Well, um, what other actor I can't stand? Adam Sandler. He used to be uh, alright years ago, and now, and now he's like, comedy. I cannot stand the bloke. I think he's a knob. Really? Well, I, don't know, what, I, don't know, I don't know why there, there's there's a few famous people that you you know what it's like you you have a few famous people that you just don't like and you don't know a reason. Jack Black. You, you just don't like them. <laughs> You're kidding. You don't like Jack Black. Oh, I can't stand him. Oh, oh I love him. Oh, I love him. He's oh. funny. School of Rock's brilliant. Lieber yeah. Lieber Yeah. It's a Gala great Hall. film. Do what? Gala Hall. Yeah. yeah. The that clock is it? Then. What's that one where it's in house where all clocks move? That. Mean... Uh, yeah, the, I don't know what that's going. Kung Fu Hustle, Scott Morrison, well done. Kung yeah, Fu. can't believe you don't like Jack Black. No, Jack Black's amazing. Oh. I like the uh, the Quentin Tarantino movies. That, that's what I like. Oh yeah, yeah Quentin Tarantino. He does tend to go for the same actors though, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's yeah. always Samuel Jackson. Yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, what's 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 his name? Uh, uh, see, there we there we go. I don't know. I don't know the names. So, <laughs> what's that? Is it Army of the Dead or whatever it is on Netflix? I watched it. Yeah, nah. Oh, it's, it's good. good. It is good. Um, Dave Bavista. Bavista is it? Bavista. I can't even say his name. Bavista. I, I can't say it either. <laughs> Bavista. Baptista. Baptista. Yeah. Baptista. Yeah. yeah, he's good in it. But he's got loads of scars on his head. Is and it? I'm guessing that's from when they used to do, you know, when they do wrestling and they do the... Oh, yeah, yeah. Blood them that lot. Do you know what I mean? He's got loads of tram lines on his, on his head. <laughs> Fletch Rome just put in Lee Evans. I Fucking mean, hate him. He's a, he's, a, he's a talented comedian, but not a great actor. I don't like Lee Evans at all. But then again, he could, he could have got that for MMA. He could have done, yeah, yeah. MMA, yeah. Um, Couple of years, yeah, it's gonna go from there. But he's got big. If you look at it on there, it shows you can see big tram lines down his head. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Lee Evans, I cannot stand. I, I love, it. I love, it. I love. Have you, you, seen, on it, mate? Have you guys ever seen um, the Revenant with Tom Hardy and Leonardo DiCaprio? Mm-hmm. Yes. No, I haven't oh. watched that. It's good. Yeah, it's, it's one scene where he gets attacked by this bear, and it's like, fuck. It's quite Are brutal you? in it, but it's based on true story. It, right? That's it. He sleeps in a bear. He got yeah, that. He got yeah. it and sleeps in it. Yeah. Is that oh, where he's going the, after his the... son or something? You know what? He's going to look for his son. He's a bear trapper. Yeah, yeah. Someone oh, kidnaps oh. his son. Yeah, but it's, yeah. It's, based, it's based on a true story. Apparently. That's the first. Oscar, that's, the, that's the first Oscar that um, Leonardo DiCaprio ever won. Yeah. Oh, right. Did yeah, not get one for Titanic. Nope. Really? Yeah. Well, only, uh, only what's her name? Uh, the singer uh, got uh, got one. What's what's her name? Celine Dion. Celine Dion. Dion. I think she got one, didn't she? Yeah, she must have got one for the um for the song. A horrible song. Oh, I can't stand it. <laughs> they did make Viking customs. Good evening, Brent. Yeah, Mr. Beard of Viking Customs. And good avond. You know, he understands. He's from South Africa. <laughs> no idea what you just said. I said good evening. That's all. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> Hip-hop juice. 
Hey, Pop. Oh, hang on. He's got a jingle. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, dear. Look at them boys going on. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I say, is there any comedians you don't like? Like I say, I don't like Lee Evans. I think he's a, I think he's a bit of a uh, take on um, Norman Wisdom. To be yeah. Fair. I really do. Because Norman mm. Wisdom used to do all that. <laughs> Like that, didn't he? Do you know what I mean? I just think I think I've been. Um, this is good. Paper. I hope you got that. You know, for the next uh, bump of the bunny. <laughs> He'll be packed in now, isn't he, Lee Evans? I don't much care for um uh uh what's his name? Kevin Kevin Phillips, is it? No, Scottish boy. Kevin Bridge. Kevin Bridge, that's it. Yeah, I don't like him too much. The one of you to you don't hear him more now. Is that uh, Frankie Boyle? He's, br- he's brutal, man. He's yeah, he, he's, he's one of those that most comedians know, like uh, Jimmy Carr. There's a line, and he know Jimmy Carr knows how to step up to that line. Just Quite yeah, nice. just, just get over. Where, whereas Frankie Boyle just just fucking man, you know. Yeah, he's saying line. Frankie Boyle is a terrible comedian. Yeah, he is. A couple a couple of friends of mine went to see him a few years ago, and they said twenty minutes in, they saw at least half the crowd just get up and walk out. Because he just went too far with his stuff, like I think he's um, too far. Fletch Roy, I'm guessing he don't like uh, Peter K. Do you know I booked tickets to go see Peter K. When he suddenly went fucking vanished and did that, booked him, waited ages to go see him at Sheffield, and then he, he suddenly disappeared, didn't he? Said he want cancelled all his tour and everything. Uh, well, oh, you know, say, saying that, uh, uh, one of my one of my mates booked, um, but well, he's one of my older friends. He's, he he booked tickets to go and see um, Eminem live, um, and and. <laughs> He but he, he was just about to book them. True story. Of this he was just about to book them, and then uh, he turned on the news and it said uh, Eminem's just um, just gone into rehab. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Uh-oh>. <laughs> it's like oh yeah yeah. Just, but obviously, all comedians, comedy and comedians are subjective. We have to remember that. Yes, it's one thing to turn some people on. Yeah, very true. Yeah. I mean, Lisa, what about uh, tickets? Because we, we we're supposed to have seen last April. Um, Jack D, mm. and he got moved to November. Then it's got moved, and apparently it's happening this December now. As yeah, long yeah. As everything goes back to normal. But... Yeah, but tickets go see Tom Jones, but that that didn't this happen. Thing. They now can't go this year. So Tom Tom Jones come down in. All right, the Isle of Wight Festival. Yeah, come down in. Yeah, I'm looking forward. It's supposed to be going. It's supposed to be now, but it changed it. It's, it's September now, so I just can't go. I've yes. got so much Googling to do after this show, man. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bogle Bates says, the sweetest thing on Netflix this month, the penis song is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Mr. Skint says, there's only one Godfather of comedy, Mr. Billy Connolly. Yeah, I used to yeah. like him, yeah. Uh, and my uncle said to him, he went to see him and he was dog shit. Oh. Really? Didn't, didn't enjoy it at all. all right. Yeah. I, t- I tell you, I did go. Sorry, mate. Maybe he picked on your mom. <laughs> she didn't tell you, but but he picked on her. I went to see. Um, oh, what's it called? Freddie Star. Oh yes, yes, yeah. Years ago, over yeah. in Blackpool, just walking past and thought, um, walked past and thought, oh, buy tickets is on. So I went in and say, what? I laughed once. All his stuff yeah. I'd seen on TV in seventies. Yeah, I saw, I saw him back and was with the. Uh, about eighties or the nineties, mum and dad he'd be driving in Birmingham and uh, we might think. Oh, my, uh, the the funniest person I've ever seen. Um I went to see him at the Portsmouth Guild Hall. It was Lee Mack. Oh, yeah, I yeah. could not stop laughing Definitely. throughout the whole thing. He was awesome. Right. Well I, I saw a couple of years ago um Sean Locke. Oh, um, right. Because we live, we, we where where we are, we've got um the Warwick Arc Centre and it's twenty minutes drive away and you get quite big comedians going there. But we were we were up on the balcony and he started his set and um someone sitting a few rows in front of the next block kept chanting something out and he was like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he turned around to them and just just laid into them. And one of his friends sitting next to me goes, She's got Tourette's, so she couldn't help what she was shouting out. <laughs> and for the rest of the, the half of his set, it, it, it wrecked it for him. He felt he felt that bad about it. He just couldn't. couldn't and then when he came, and then when he came back on afterwards, he sort of played along with it. But then he cancelled the next night. All right. Yeah. yeah, but he was funny though, Sean Lockett. Yeah. Live, I says it's not unusual with Tom Jones. 
<laughs> yeah, the out out do. What's his name? Mickey Flanagan. Mickey Flanagan. Uh, going out uh, out. Uh. Going out. Uh, uh. So many people say that now. <laughs> Mr. Anders, seen, I've seen Kevin Wilson live a couple of times. He's that one that does the singing, isn't it? He does, does he does um, songs and that. Um, yeah. Sean Locke is funny, says uh, Dean. Um, he's not a fan of that comedian. Com- 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 look, I can say it. Canadian Maybe. comedian. She's normally on eight out of ten cats. Don't know who that is. Hip hop saying Kevin out all day. Oh, is she on about um, Stuart Francis? Because I went, I went to see him live. He's he's pretty, he's pretty good. And uh, Greg Davis, Greg Davis is like, so funny. Oh, see, Jim, Jimmy Carr, like like um, like like um, Steve said, he's he's um, one of them that you either love him or you hate him. He's, he's marmite, isn't he? Yeah. You know, he's like his 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 stuff can just go too far sometimes. <laughs> Wasn't Jimmy Carr on QI as well a couple of times? He was, yeah. Okay. yeah he was. With the dark hair, right? Yeah. What yeah. surprised me about QI, you, you get comedians and this, that, and the other. I switched on the other week because I was repeat. And they had, um, oh, uh, Dean will know his name now. But he had, he had the lead singer from Slipknot on there. Oh, really? Yeah. Corey Taylor, I think his name is. I was watching, oh. I was going to my missus. She goes, what's money? I said, I'm pretty sure that's Corey Taylor. And she goes, yeah. I said, but yeah, but that's the late singer of Slip, not heavy metal band, I thought. But yeah, he was on there once. Oh, I love QI. Love mm. that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, uh, Catherine Ryan would see. be the Canadian. Help me up. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I don't find her funny at all now. Crowd Chuck has seen uh, Peter Kay's hilarious. I do like Peter Kay. Jimmy Carr's a legend. And uh, Simon Stuart Dill said Chubby Brown. I've seen Chubby Brown twice. And he's, he's well, I've seen him in a petrol station in Blackpool as well. I didn't know what he was in front of me. It was only until he turned around. <laughs> I mean, the second time. Yeah, no, I, well, I saw him. I saw him once in Blackpool and once at uh, Battle Variety. Battle and- Variety, it was good. Please. Went to see him in Blackpool. Do you know, like, when you see his videos and that lot, and he starts going on with everybody's going, "You fat bastard, you fat." He don't play along with it. And sure, you know, like you were saying, he don't play a lot. He didn't. Play, he just went like that. Pointed to the security guard and went. And fucking kicked really? him out. No. And I was sat there like that. Well, that's not what I say on your fucking videos, pal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's crazy, isn't it? Because because like um, it's, it's you meet celebrities in like weird weird situations. I mean, even celebrities do the normalest of things. Mm. You know, as as my uh, as my uh, as my uh, uncle says, uh, only the um the queen the, the queen shits as well. Bill yeah, Bill Bailey, he's brilliant because he. Yeah, Bill Bailey's funny. I like yeah, Bill Bailey. Yeah, Bill Bailey. Yeah, he's brilliant. Yeah. But you're on about like, comedians at, off the stage and that. I mean, where I used to live in, over in Sully Hall, about probably like, three, four miles away, just Carrot used to live up there. Ba boom, ba boom. That's but, uh, his. Couple, a couple of people said they've seen him out and about, and he shy as anything. He doesn't. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't talk to his talk to anyone. Mm. Just goes off, right? But yeah, just because. Yeah, Jasper Carrot. I also like Jasper Carrot. Like, say he did that um, that with the mole, wasn't he, when he went out with his shotgun on a, a swivel chair. Yeah. And he shot him like a baboon spinning round with his shotgun. Yeah, I used to like uh, Jasper Carrot. Because he, his, da- his daughter's an, act- uh, an actress now, and she's on a few things. Isn't, wasn't she in The Office? I think he's, what, his, his daughter, daughter was? Yeah. Oh, I can't she? remember her name now. Oh, um, Ricky Gervais as well. Oh yeah, I, I love him because he just doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Never been not keen on him, Ricky Gervais. Oh yeah, yeah. What he did? Uh, what was it? With, with his Oscar speech? Something? Didn't no, he? when he slapped yeah, everybody off. It was the Golden Globes. Yeah, yeah. Golden Globes. It was okay. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Love it. He, yeah, he does not give a shit. But, <laughs> but he he made some great uh, comedy series as well. You know, half serious, half comedy. Some some really dark. Com- They're on that not, not, uh, on Netflix as well. I think it's um it's um. Apple. Life after, after death. death. Yeah, I think that was it. Yeah. Afterlife. Afterlife. That's it. Afterlife. That he took a bit to get into, but I really enjoyed that afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I enjoyed that. It was yeah. really dark, dark comedy. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, <laughs> Simon's coming out with wheel tappers and shunters. <laughs> We're over at club at wheel tappers and shunters, and tonight all we've got is uh, Bernard Manning. Hey. Uh, nope. 
Well, I've been what, 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 and a totally different thing. I've been watching that uh, Clarkson's Farm. Oh man, it's it's brilliant. Oh, that, that guy who fixes the uh, the walls and that. Yeah. <laughs> you can see Clarkson going. It, it's the part where he says he goes. I I do enjoy talking to him. Chris Earl, I've done no see, buddy. I don't know what to say. Pub. Pub. That's the Clarkson from Top Gear, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I saw the bumper of it. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Thanks for reminding me. Wrote it down. It's good. It's worth a watch. Yeah. But it gets you wondering with the farms industry how, because it's gone in depth with things that you had to do to to run a farm type thing. Like that God, there's shit loads of fucking work they have to do in there. Oh yeah, yeah. It's not not it's it's not a case it's not a case of like you think well you go to work like we do and then come home and stick your front feet yeah. up at the TV. It's literally <laughs> they just all all day every day is just work work work. Yeah, yeah. But it's like it's like yeah. when he was collecting the grain they, um, in the last last couple and he, he was getting was it barley? Bar- bar- yes, yeah. barley. Barley. So there was like storing it outside, weren't they? And they go, oh, you need to get a, get someone to pick it up. And they're like, oh yeah, he only orders one van. <laughs> yeah, uh, one lorry. <laughs> And then it gets told up because you need you need to be ordering twenty of these coming back back up and down all the time to take it away. Yeah, Dean uh, saying he absolutely loved it. Jedard is the thing. I liked his yeah. um the the what is it? What's it? Caleb, Caleb. Caleb. He yeah. didn't have to he him some stick, didn't he? Yeah. But you find I find weird about that because the, the village that obviously they all live in and you know got the pub and that it's a really small village, and yet that Jared and Caleb are both. Got the same surname. I think it's not, his granddad. No, but they're not related. Are they not? Red, no, Red Little Intimate, they're not related. Oh, right, because I saw that at the end. When yeah, you looked yeah. at the names on the end, they yeah, both yeah. have the same surname. I'm like, it must be his granddad. That's what we thought, but apparently they're not related. Oh, the, oh, the, the, be, the best bit I've seen so far is um, <laughs> definitely when he's going through when he's going through the tractors and he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's, all, it's all all right in there. <laughs> and he goes back and he goes for a little test drive in a little tractor and then and then he goes this ain't good enough <laughs> and then the next shot is this massive Lamborghini, Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> um Morgan yeah. saying Truth Seeker with Nick Frost on Prime is a great sleeper series. I'm have to try that. Yeah, that's all right. That is, yeah. Is it all right? If anybody's got anything in chat that they recommend watching, because at the moment shit all is on tally. Yeah. That I'm watching. Except from yeah. Love Island starts on Monday. Oh Christ! What's a sleeper series? Is that no. a oh, that? Yeah, that. But, and then that's the sort of thing my wife loves. But I don't get. Uh, I don't get about that. Uh, that Love Island. The Americans did one. Love Island, but it was yeah, set in Las Vegas. I don't yes. Get that. I, the island. I, I can. I thought they'd be surrounded by water, not like right in the middle of a fucking. Because it was in lockdown, wasn't it? They did it in lockdown, uh, so oh, they I, couldn't they, go they, anywhere. They, they, I, I can't watch them. They just. Drive me at the feckin yeah, that, that's that's yeah. like um, I'm a celebrity get me out of here. Usually it's in Australia, and last year it was in a bloody castle. Or something. Yeah, that's got good. Got, it's I'll, back I'll, in I'll... Australia this year, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's back in Australia. Eat some it? sheep's testes. Sheep's testes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not same when they're doing it in Wales, are they? No, <laughs> no. Get some bugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tonight you're going to eat pigeons. Oh, yeah. Tonight we tonight we are sleeping in our own bed. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey, up my duck saying fuck Love Island. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Anders says October faction. Yeah. I've not heard that. Has anybody watched that? Um is it Sweet Tooth or whatever it's called? Netflix. That new one that's on Netflix is next week. I'm I've planning. heard of it. I am I'm, I'm Whether they're half um human, half an animal. Yeah, I've I've seen it advertised. Yeah, oh, but... yeah, I saw a little into it. Nah, it's not too much. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm not no, that... I fancied that. Mine is one, good. Me and, me, one, uh, me and the missus watched was um, Lock and Key. Oh, is that? Do you know, I've been what passing that? Is it any good? Yeah, it is. It is. It's quite good. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's just basically where the 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 husband gets killed and the and the, the wife and the kids move to his ancestral home. And then the little kids keep it, um, even these noises and these keys, and the keys unlock different doors that do different mm-hmm. things. So, like one is like, like a travel key. So, for example, you go up to the door and think, right, I want, as long as you've been there, you can see a picture. Like, I've been to Las Vegas, put the key in, open the door, and you walk out to Las Vegas. And, and <laughs> it's got really good. Mogul of X says, wait, so it's so weird. The breaking bad. Like that. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? I've never fancied Breaking Bad. No. Nah. That's yeah, it's, it's 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 like one of the series you watch the first yeah two three seasons and you're like ah okay how long is this gonna go for? 
Well, that that was my uh, my yeah. experience. I know then, it's an old yeah. Goldie, but a couple of games. So, I don't know. I don't know if it's still on Netflix or not. But um, I watched uh, Hannibal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, wasn't that with with a Danish actor in there? Yeah, uh, yeah. Matt Mikkelsen. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's really good. That, one. that, that was good. phenomenal. That Definitely. one. Yeah. yeah. Um, a Wyman second movie is in post production for release this year. Over the top uh, Aussie zombie flick. I've never heard of it. Hmm? Never heard of that. Um, I, I tell you what, I am. I've never watched as well, which you might find that um, Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, that's good. Never watched it. No. Mm. They've, they've done a, a spin off. One of the because in it, there's a Mexican uh, park gang called the Mayans, and mm. then a separate one of that. Watched the first two series of that. That's quite good. And you oh, get oh, the... oh, talk about sp- sorry, sorry, sorry. Go, go ahead. ahead. No, go ahead. No, and, and in that you get the odd uh, cameo sort of thing from the ones from uh, the original series. Right. Oh, right. But, it's a bit like the spin-off from Big and Bad, Better Call Saul. I love that series. That's I, I love that one. Oh, I love it. Better Call Saul. It's it's, well, it's you know it's it's the what is it uh, advocate? How do you call that? The the the, uh, the sort it of prequel star- to Breaking Bad. That yeah, it is. It is. But but it's only about him. It's it's so funny. Yeah, yeah like I say I've not seen Breaking Bad. I, I keep seeing it on and just not watched it. Um, Morgan Bates started watching Game of Thrones, but it's brutal till seeing the villains. Alive and get in their way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but then, I think that's the same thing with Game of Thrones. So I first started watching it years ago. Go and get into it, and then uh, I got together with Mrs. and we were like, "Okay, well, we'll watch this because we've heard it takes a few episodes to get into yeah. know who's who." And, but the thing is, I've heard the same thing about Breaking Bad. But so maybe you have to. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah, give, give that a chance. I think. I did same with I, Game of Thrones. See, I never, I never got into Game of Thrones or Stranger Things either. Oh, Stranger yeah. Things is great. Oh, great. Yeah. No, 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 me neither, man. Yeah. So, right, um, Steve, are you ready to do some uh, bargains? Uh, shiny. Shinies? Shiny, shiny. Play a little bumper? Play to a bumper. Play to a bumper. All right. Uh, right. I've only got uh, screen. Yeah, we're back. We are back. Oh. Right, yeah, then. Uh, a couple of them are Instagrammies. Uh, you've got from uh, Oxford. Is it the Uni One? It looks like they're having a, a stock call tank. That looks all right. Bottom airflow. Mm-hmm. Been on the website. You can't, you can't. Uh, oh, it's now available in the Canadian market. Tell you what, they've they've nailed the RTA market. That they have absolutely nailed it. I love the Arbiter and the Arbiter Solo. Oh, the Arbiter Solo, um, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, uh, that's all I can find at the moment. There's nothing on the actual website. It's just that, but that looks all right. I might give that a whirl when it comes out. Well, the Devil Vapor likes it. I was just about to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, how Dean likes it. Yeah, first yeah. name up. So I'm a I'm a, I'm a stanker. <laughs> so, uh, I'll have a look at that. So uh, that next up. From Geek Vape, uh, Geek Vape Z R D A. That's that. That's really all, another one I can only find. Uh, I do like the look of that. I do like the look of that. Okay, so. See through. It's magic. Uh, <laughs> oh, look at that! Yeah, he's got a little logo on. I don't think there is anything else. I top um, the flavor. Let's just go on to the. That's that's all I can. I don't know if that's the deck for it or oh really know. Where's it gone? So yeah, cloud two hundred so there. So I think that's the that should be the deck for it. Oh right, okay. yeah. Shrek Shrek's just put in chat, Oxford have nailed their pods, but that that's what they're that's what they're famous for, isn't it? They're 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 like AIOs and pod kits. Oh, I'm look, saying look. I'll keep my dead rabbit. Don't see it point in need to change it. Ah, people like dead rabbit. Yeah. That's fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. That looks it. pretty simple to uh, build on that. You just snip your legs, bang in. So. That, that looks remarkably like the Zoo Sex. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a Zoo Sex tag. <laughs> yeah. It is. Uh, and then last but not least, from Freemax. The uh, Onyx, oh, no, for some reason they've cut that off. The Onyx 2. I think it's a 900 mAh battery, this one. Uh, type C charging. Come on. And some rather funky colours. Oh, come on, what's going on here? Ooh. I quite like the look of that. 
like flash paint. on that on there so mm. Mm. does it vibrate <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. it's for their pleasure so at least, at least it's a uh, dual use right dual use you can uh, change the call in it because there's a few, a few few pods coming out at the moment where you can't change the blooming you have to throw away the whole whole of this bit which i think is a right waste but you, well, hang hang on you have to throw that all away but there's no, a, I, I, no on, on some some of them that are coming out now um oh. the, the coils built into there but luckily this uh, oh, right. luckily this one's you can change the call in it but, like the original caliber it's like yeah, the, yeah. the the ages um, as well yeah, well, Graham. yeah like i've got the the um you guys well people are watching this the the nano that's the same you have to throw away the whole the whole thing once it's finished yeah. It's a waste. Yeah, it's been a little waste, but good we got, uh, Mr. Micken. Mr. Mick Mick. He's so famous. He's uh, even uh, more famous than Benny's hair. That's what he is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, like, look at that. I might give that well one that. It's just another pod, mate. <laughs> yeah. But... <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, um, yeah. yeah. But, uh, well, you guys have pods, and you can show them on, uh, you know, on the websites. So that's great. We can't. Okay. Yeah, no, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at the size. I mean, it must be big. Look at the size of her rank. I bet that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a really small hands. <laughs> that's yeah. next size. Yeah. Not exactly. They're complaining they're, they're like uh, putting it out there for kids, right? No, there you go. <laughs> small kids' hands. Yeah, it's a <laughs> Looks like a Caliburn coil, this one thing. Does look like, like a Caliburn G, doesn't it? Mm. Oh, we got different options with the uh, with the panel. Uh, oh, maybe you can. Yeah, I see what you mean there. You might be able to. It's got a change, UV transfer. Yeah, change, change the panels. Yeah. Well, it like looks it. like it. Yeah, it looks yeah. like that. But... Yeah. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's just uh... two different pods. Oh yeah. Hmm. There's no giving away from Oxford on this show, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So that's that's all I've got for you at the moment. Very good. Very good. Oh, just one second. <laughs> like I'm saying, is it's uh, called the Mamba with that that lady's hand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Famous, uh, we've got got a little bump of that, that play on the uh, mixing show for Mick and his uh, more favours than Nevins. <laughs> yeah, they're all right for work, things like that, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? They're all right yeah. for night out. If you buy them for like, like same as disposable ones, if you buy them and you take it out and you, you lose it, you're not worried about, you know, taking a 50 yeah. or 60 quid mod out and losing it, are you? Yeah. That's, that's what it. they're good for. Do it's know? funny. I've started vaping after uh, the whole, uh, you know, the whole uh, lockdown thing. So I never went out with with a mod, with a, huh. you know, while being a vapor. So that's that's going to be something new. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do, but like do, I say, do, you don't want to be taking out a big heavy mod for the night out, do you, no. really? Do you know what no. I mean? And you don't want to be taking something out decent that you're going to, you know, get pissed up and leave it you don't in want the to be night. Yeah. Um, I think... Be, so I was going to say, I do think if you're all like walking out and about right around by the, in the streets and that, I normally do take some sort of pod system. Yeah. Because obviously, you, you don't be walking down the road and then you're just chucking clouds out for someone behind you to mm. start getting. <laughs> <It's> like, <Yeah. laughs> oh, that smells like strawberry custard. Go on. <laughs> and raspberry. Yeah. Uh, I, I, feel like, I feel like saying to these people, well, do you, would you rather me brace both, you know, like. Fag smoke in your face, yeah. Like, is it's mm. yeah, exactly. What, what would you rather? Yeah, um, Mr. Anna says the only pod I stuck with was the Jester with the RDTA pod. Very good, never had the Jester. I did look at it, fancy it, right? So, we will move swiftly on to I've got some news for you. If, oh. if anyone is following the UEFA soccer championship, close your ears, you know, shut down because Portugal's out. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Ronaldo's bye bye Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bye bye Ronaldo. Who were they, who were they playing? Oh, was it? Belgium. Belgium. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess this one's. Are they the favourites? Belgium. 
were they? No. Uh, one. one. Oh, France, one are they? France Believe and it. Um, is it Germany or Italy? Believe it or not, England are one of the favourites as well. At the beginning, I yeah, think. Portugal well. is actually. Um, Jay, is that on half price now then? Because it's uh, well, this one, ain't. no, no, the other one, <laughs> Portugal, <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe you know, you never know. No, I'm not doing this, guns now. Sorry, right? We will go on to some bargains. Bargain. Oh, wrong one. Hold up. Oh, oh playing Shrek and he's not here. <laughs> Why is it not? Technical issues. Oh, that's why. I did in that one. There we go. <laughs> so you got two foot price of one there. <laughs> <laughs> um. Graham's saying Denmark will get to the final. I think so. I think so. And here we go. We yeah. had BPD Direct. Now, this is sent from Mr. Savage, Salmon62, who likes sausages. But it's not a say I've actually rec- um, I recognize. Uh, if anyone in chat's actually use it, please help us out with this one. Um, it can't oh, be right, that can it? The drop solo out for three pound forty nine. No. The lucid kit for four ninety nine. No, I can't be the, right. The Fupu Alpha One, uh, bit more for twelve ninety nine. <laughs> They're on to something, aren't they? <laughs> the um, Aries RTA, six ninety nine. What you are witnessing here, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, is the, the vape equivalent yeah. of Wish.com. It must be. It must be summer. That can't be. It can't yeah. be right. Yeah. The drag free mod for twenty nine ninety nine. That sounds. Drag two right. in it. Drag two kit. No, that ain't. Drag oh no, no, other one's drag two. That sounds about right. Twenty nine ninety nine. That. Yeah. Is anyone ordering from this website? Or... <laughs> I don't know because, like you it. said, it's not uh, what I've heard of either. So. If anyone in chat actually have used it, please let us know what they thought about it. But what was cool, I saw the Tango one there. That, that's like the RDA from uh, from Geekvip. That's a really decent RDA, that is. There it is, blue and, and black. That's cheap, that's man. black and blue. Well, black and gold. Pl- Plex kit, that's not bad. The, the X display, though, so I'm guessing it may not come with a box out because it does say X display that. VPD. But how many colours have they got? They've only got it in, they only got it in green. No, in no. four. Click on, click on rest of them, grey. What's that coming up as? Don't know. Might be worth taking a plunge just to see what if it actually if it's actually right or not that, isn't it? It's an X display, so I'm wondering they're trying to get rid of them, maybe? No. And tax included. <laughs> Don't know. I was I was thinking, I wonder if it's uh pre fat type of thing, we've got to put the fat back um Back on it. Don't know. Don't know. It just seems definitely cheap. That does. Yeah. Yeah. And over to some of that. Um, <laughs> Rex sent me, and that's over from Bohemian Vape City. Now that that one caught me. I the Half Moon PKT uh, KT it must be Pocket Rocket. For sixty nine ninety nine instead of hundred and eighty four ninety nine on pre order. No. Uh, so they have got a couple of uh, mechanical mods in there. They got the E for fifteen quid. The Vapor S uh, GTX Go forty kit for twelve ninety nine. It's not a bad little kit that. The Aegis Legend two kit. For forty four ninety nine. Now these are all in pre order as well, so the ether's only fourteen quid, that's not bad. But why is it on pre order? Don't probably haven't got it in. Maybe. There's a blast from the past. The Vaporessor Cascade tank came out yeah. about the same time as the Mesh Pro and the Falcon. Eleven ninety nine. Uh, Scott Morrison saying where can he get the bubble glass for the profile M? 
I did say last night that if you look over at Hip Hop Juice, they do sell them there. Right, and you get if you use our discount code NUVS10, you might get a little bit of discount off. You might pick it up. NUVS, not NUVS10. NUVS. You want to say 10. Uh, I think that's about it. Now, over to Simon's favourite site, and it's the um, Source Bar on the pre-order, the the new uh, Mimi um, accessory bag. Is that just a bag with no accessories in it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That's just the bag part of it. That's coming out at $14.29, which is roughly, what, 12 quid? Yeah. Less. I know it's shown in the new kit itself. Um, comes for forty four ninety nine dollars. Oh, yeah. I like that. Looks quite like smart, mate. Which I priced up last week over on Sam and Saturday show. Um, you did. Was looking over about um, nearly sixty pound mark for it. So I think that was what, what I went to. It was about thirty four quid. Yeah, it's about thirty four. That yeah. So that's not bad. I mean, that's if you've got an account. That's all that's if on. I'll delete them too. And another one, the Brunhill side by side 100 watt kit for 6177. Like I mean, I've seen it priced in about the 80s mark, 80 pound mark, and um, some of the sites. So that's the cheapest I've found for it at the moment. Just remember that's on pre order though. So, and it is from China, so you may not get it as quick as getting it in the UK. <laughs> yes, and that's um, that's in silver. But if you want it in other colours, it's an extra four dollars on top. But then again, even though just an add an extra four dollars, it's still cheaper than what I've seen. Over to hip hop. Now they've got the ten percent off um, codes for the hits mods. I don't want you. I want you. Kits, mods, tanks, e-juice and accessories <sighs> using third um, juice and understand if you use the good NUVS. On any well. sale items, you can use NUVS and that will get you more off. And that's me for tonight. So just go over to Whip Up Juice, show them some love, see what you can get. I'm sure you'll pick up some bargains there. Bargains. We will do a quick giveaway, courtesy of what we're talking, courtesy of Hip Hop Juice. So, like I say, go over to his site, do show him some love, um, use NUVS, and you'll get money off of his sale items. Um, I did that and got the Oxford Velocity um, for, like, 20 quid. I think everybody went over and bought the... the, What's it, Abbott Solo? (laughs) So... Yeah, we we did that, didn't we, CJ, with the Arbiter? Yes, we did, yes. A couple of weeks back. Indeed. On and the, then the wonder why the black one went. I was still if I remember. Yeah, yeah, we did it actually live on the show. <laughs> oh, apparently, Mick saying vape director from Worcestershire. All good reviews, so it might be worth giving a chat, giving it a little. I thing. might have a little Thanks, talk Nick. to you guys afterwards because they only ship to uh, to the UK. So I might have a little work with one of you guys. Uh, yeah. So if you do want a little bit of a uh, Yorkshireman's handshake, you do need to put this in. Type it once, and that is it. We will assure you this, which is... Doo, 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 I've lost it now. Handshake rules. Uh, so, open to UK residents only. Casters say it's final. Free to enter. Casters do have a life away from YouTube, and maybe a delay sending prizes out. So, yeah, just remember, we do. it is coming from hip-hop. It does send them out pretty reasonably quickly. Um, but, yeah, just remember that it, there is other things going on as well. Um, you don't want to wait, don't enter. So don't be bombarding me with an email and everything, you know, saying I ain't got my uh, giveaway. Or, or do, and we can have a rant by Benny, you know, every time on the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll let that run for a little bit. So we will uh, move on to the Wall of Holes. Oh, LSD time. Oh, you're ready. <laughs> it's a 
time for a metallic and the wall of home. So if you don't know what the wall of home is, it is a little bit like the cool wall from Top Gear. I didn't take the idea from that or anything, so don't be um, plagiarism. It isn't out like that. I, I just came up with it myself. Yes, you see, you're inspired, right? You're inspired by it. It is. I was just watching it and thought that'd be a good idea. So as you see, we build up this wall of home as we're going along. I haven't put last week's on because I just haven't had chance yet. But as you can see, we just put in, and what have you got is Pish, Ma, OK, and Take My Money. We will put three items up. We'll have a little chat about it. Um, so we'll have a little chat about it and see what we think. Um, taking price of what it was originally. Do we think it's worth it? And then we'll ask you in chat. We'll ask everybody on here as well and see what we think. So we will uh, come back to the show. Can we come back on now? I think we did the Geek Vape, the Geek Vape Ages, with it, which is missing an E, but that's fine. Lightning 2. Everyone said take my money, but I think after the reviews, we might have a moment to review that review. Yeah, I think it was when it first came out with that one. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. So the first one, Ip. Ip, the, up, 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 is <laughs> the Lost Vape Triad DNA 250C to 300. It was 124.99. You can get it for 98.99, but it's not in stock, obviously, because it is an old one. I don't think you can get this anymore. The Triad. Is that bulletproof? It says Kevlar. <laughs> Mate, it's, it's a banger, is this? Honestly, I've said, um, Les used to have one. It's a banging one. Looks nice as well. So it has got your DNA 250C in it. It does take three 1850s. You can change the hardware and push it up to 300 watts if you so wish. Um, nope. Scroll down, you'll see the pictures of it if you want to click on some of the pictures. I can't because I'm not sharing. There you go. It is that sort of rouleau sort of shape. Uh, uh, I uh, I have it. Well, this is what I did. Yeah, exactly. So we'll ask you, what, <laughs> what do you think of it? Um... Now I've I see see I was all about SX Mini and and I didn't much care for um, the sort of DNA boards but now I've used one for that price as well definitely take my money. Uh, we've got a few people putting in take but so we've got uh, Shrek's putting take my money. Matt Hancock's put pish. So what you've got to do is decide whether it's uh, pish, ma, okay, take my money. Um, I've seen it. I like it. I, I would say it's okay. Um, bordering sort of take my money because I do actually like it's a right, but it's a right solid bit of kit in it. Yeah. Can I can, can yeah. I just have a little little question because you know I'm not that technically uh, you know uh, uh, educated if it comes to mods, but. Um, I keep, you know, people talk about DNA chip. Is that the same thing as as it's in in the legend? Is that like a DNA? No, no, no. Um, DNA is a higher end. You can do a lot more with it. There's like uh -huh. the Yee Hee and the DNA, um, and there's die codes. Um, the sort the of like you can, you can put them on your computer. You can change and um, you oh, right. you curve you. You can mess around with them. You can go really deep into it to get it out how you want to vape it. You, you can, can program. Cut. You can program anything, really. Yeah. Then, then what would be in the legend? Then, what what kind of chips? It's that would just be in a it? Geek Vape's own chip. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. That's yeah, all. Yeah. They all do the same thing, but it's just that DNA you can do a lot more with. Mm -hmm. it, it's like getting um, an IN car and getting a um, a bottom end car. Do you know they all drive, but you can yeah. do a lot more with IN one that you can do with low end. What do you know what I mean? Gotcha. Yeah, um, I heard, heard, heard my, my problem is I've never had a DNA mod before anyway. I mean, I've got the SXG class, and I wasn't that keen on that. So I couldn't see the big fascination with the fancy chip. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 true, I got you. So with the with that one, um, I'm going to... Say okay. I'm not gonna push me hands out. To say take my money because I'm a bit like that. I don't know what I'm expecting because I, I don't want to be overhyped. Yes, and then get disappointed. Yeah. So yeah. that's why I'm gonna go with okay. I'm with you on that one, JP. I'm uh, yeah. I'm okay too. 
So, so far we have got in, Shrek is saying, take my money. Matt Hancock saying, pish. Um, something okay, Graham Mabley okay, take my cash, says Dominic Cummings. Um, you're going to have to do because you have no job. <laughs> Neither does Matt Hancock. <laughs> <laughs> Dale 78, okay. Andrew George is okay. He up my duck saying, take my money. Mark H is okay. And he's saying it's worth it just for the board, yeah, because they're becoming rare like rocking horse shit at the moment with what's going yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, Moglavip saying tall RX200 with a DNA 250C, take my money. Scott Morrison's take my money. Okay. Says uh, mm. Savage Salmon Sausage. I think it's borderline okay, take my money, isn't it? It's, sort yeah. of... it's on that line, isn't it? It's on that line, yeah. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's going to be that okay, take my money. So I'm saying it's okay. James saying it's okay. What are you saying, Mr. Blazing? I'm saying it's okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. What are you saying, Mr. CJ? Uh, take my money. Take yeah, my money. Yeah. And Mr. Hunt on Funk, and you are saying? Yeah, I was uh, with JP on that. With you, okay. Yeah. So especially, was... especially for that price as well. That's a that's that's a bargain and a half. That even though it's. I'm also wondering. I wouldn't go up to you know me personally not go up to like that like two hundred two hundred fifty. What's that? I never done it. I probably won't won't do it. But you know. yeah. Yeah, that's that's it. Um, Eight Duck saying also the main difference between DNA and Yeehe versus an own brand chip like Giva is the high end chips are more accurate on the home reading and temp control algorithms. I can't even say that. Yeah, Graham Spears says he already has one, so he don't need it. So yeah, what do you think of it, Mister Graham Spears? So well, last chance for um your little gent uh, Yorkshireman's handshake if you do put hip hop. In your last call, two minutes, I'm going to draw it. <laughs> Look at them boys go. Oh. I'll move it on to the next one, shall I? Yeah, move on to the next one. The next one is the legendary Wismek Rulo RX200. Definitely take my money all day long. All day long. All you day long. Why? 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 I've had one of these and I literally battered the fuck out of it. And I had it for about two years as well. And it even went swimming in the, with the fishes when I went fishing. It was a tank. Still, still right fucking beast of a mod. And I'm going to say, take my money with that one. Everybody had one. I think that was the big 200 that everybody had. Yeah. I might even. If, what site's that on, Benny? Um, come to vape. Come to vape. You get it cheaper than that. You get the new one now for that. I've got the. Um, what is it? The version three. I didn't care much for the version three, but that, but, but that, but that is a that is a classic mod. I might even grab another one because my other one surprisingly broke. I take it you're going to be getting your credit card out to go and order this one. Have a word with Shrek. He's got six apparently. Oh <laughs> wow. Really? It's a bit of a mixed bag, is this? We've got come, we've got Graham that's putting pish. We've got Dale said it always wanted one. Um, Sam and take my money all day. Trek yeah. saying take my money has six of them. Hey, up me up. Uh, never been bothered by them. Graham Mabley, take my money. It's got to be take my money, surely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Mowgli Vape saying I had about a dozen of these at one time. Good with the simple chip. Great with the DNA 200. Take my money. Does it have a DNA? Bin. Oh, Mark ain't seen him. Bin. We haven't got a bin. We've only got pish. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe should have a bin onto it. Controversial, man. Give me a bin. Give me a All right, buddy. Swamp Thing saying, okay. Oh, Andrew Josh saying too big for me, but it's, it's, okay. Yeah, DNA uh, chipset then. You can't. You could get one originally with a DNA oh, chipset. Oh right, but this one isn't, is it? No, no, no. The no. original one that came out had a DNA two hundred board in it, and then Wizmec messed around and brought their own chip mm. that was very similar, working as a DNA one. Mm-hmm. Eat my um, baby. How we doing, mate? So, oh, uh, hip hops never liked the Wizmec mods. Yeah, people are saying different things. Right, we will roll this. Let's we'll see who's uh, looking Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Roll it. It is Sam M. Sam M. Sam M. Congrats, Sam M. Well done. 
Well, if you contact me on this email. Contact me there with your name and address. And uh, I will pass it on to uh, Hip Hop. Thank you very much for Hip Hop. Go. Yeah, it's fixed. <laughs> <laughs> Always uh, fit. So go check about um, Hip Hop Juice and do some some love. Like say, use NUVS on the codes on the sale items. You might get a little bit of a bargain. Um, yeah. So we got Pish and Bin said Mark H. <laughs> uh, Graham Spears still has the DNA one. Uh-huh. Okay. So I'm yeah, not- like Both say. I'm not going to vote for this one because um, I don't think I have uh, too much. Uh, well, I don't think I have enough vape experience. But personally, if I saw this, I was like, "Meh, I've got a couple of legends. I'm fine." Yeah, this is this is the thing though. It's, if yeah. it goes back to you looking at this, this is people that have had them. But you looking yeah, exactly. at this now, you can give your opinion of what you thought of it now. Well, so, I'd say yeah. meh. But you know, if, 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 yeah, like someone you're, you're like, like Shrek says, and 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 you know, people in in in, in you know in um, in chat are like happy about it. I'm like, hmm, I might consider. But you know, I'm happy with my legends. Yeah, no, that's so, that's it, Jay. This is what it is all about. Your opinion, straight off the bat. What do you think of it? Yeah, it's all right. Do you know what I mean? Man. Okay, it's a man for me then. Yeah. Um. Yeah. They reverse engineered it. Then, lol. Yeah, they did. They reversed and they sort of copied the DNA board. Um. It was the first one that was very closely. Oh. to the DNA. <clears throat> so that's uh, what with all the big controversy was around this one because they started off, like say, with a DNA in it and then uh, changed it very quickly to their own board. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Mowgli Vates still have one. There's quite a few people still have the DNA one. So yeah, see, it was uh, a bit of a, a game changer with the three batteries of it. So, oh, that's sign right if people still use that that that's a good sign so yeah oh yeah 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 it wasn't that big jane either it wasn't massive for the three back remote j both divided well, well, in the end as well yeah it's um it's yeah it's, it's small it's smaller in form factor it's 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 um it's smaller than the um lost fake trier that we just had a look at um it's a it's a lot smaller in my opinion i'll, t- I'll tell you some which wreck with that is like me with this the um, gross, oh. how round handed it is. It fits right. The yeah. gross. The the gross. gross. So yeah, so I think that's sort of going um, round and about, sort of, mm, okay, take my money-ish again, I think. We've had a couple of pish, got a couple of mine, yeah. um, but everybody seems to say, you know, take my money, um, yeah. okay. Yeah. Like I say, I didn't get the original one. I bought the Gen 2 one. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> you see what I bought, but I saw just having a little giggle on. <laughs> if G can wrap a skin on it, it can't wrap a skin. He ain't interested. No money in it. No, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Hip-Hop, but I'm not in this for the money, dude. <laughs> yeah, so the, if you show the picture, the one that everybody had was the white and the uh, teal one, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that one. Everybody that had one. that. Everybody. Oh, I had that one. Did you? The black and red. The red one. Oh, that everybody had the white and teal. Everybody yeah, had the I had the, I had the white and teal. Yeah. But it, it was not just that. It's like if you saw them on eBay, so I think, because I was pricing up at the time and people have had the, the paint stripped off. It's been engraved and that. And wow. It's really nice, you know, designs for the just yeah. for this pod. I've seen it's, people take it off and just be silver because it's metal underneath, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It looks a bit sad. It's a sad mod. This yes, is. it does look sad with a little face, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh. So yes, yeah, so I think on. it's going there. It's going oh, up no, to the. Too bad. Um, no. Yeah. no, don't do me, no. Yeah. Oh no, no, I might no, oh, no. Oh. no. What are we done with that one? Yeah, you could squeeze. Yeah, so that's going. I think that's going with okay. Take my mind. This is the one and only Franken Skull. If you don't know who Franken Skull is, it is a um, high end. Put your money in, buy a raffle ticket. You have to buy a raffle ticket. You have to be in the Facebook group and you um. have to literally jump over hoops to get one. Um, they go from this was on the EU site, obviously, out of stock. It's 269 euros. 
but they're around about three hundred pound, and you can buy a second hand one for about a grand. Yeah, is that a squonk? It is a squonker. They should call it Frank and Squonk. Squonk. Frank and Squonk. Yes. <laughs> Frank and, no, 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 no. Honestly, it's a Frank and Squonk. It's a three D printed mod, um, single eighteen six fifty, and it is. Um, yeah, no. they're charging. They're charging that much for a three D print. Get yeah, out, three D, dude. Exactly. Exactly. I'm gonna say right away, no fucking way. Because if no. you put, you know your stuff out there with this marketing trick, you know you gotta you know kind of lottery thing. No way. No way. Bin it. it no way. Is, honestly, you've got to buy a ticket. You've got yeah, exactly. to buy a no. lottery ticket to actually be entered into winning one. Nope, I'm out. Nope. <laughs> no, if 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 it, uh, I, anyone can do 3D printing now, you know, yeah, it's, 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 marketing it's things, not right? it's not that limited edition, you know, like nah, nah, sorry. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's a green one. Fucking, he has everything. That lad. <laughs> Jeez. Um, yeah, you can flip these. Honestly, Jay, you could. The people were buying them and flipping them for a grand and over. Yeah, but I wouldn't buy a mod for that reason. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, if you want to make money, go into that game. But, but I'm not for that. I'm totally not for that. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That, um, that's just me. You know, just you know. I'm agreeing. Sort of... I'm agreeing with Mark H. There, overpriced pish. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, but this this was before but 3D print has definitely came out um, where everybody had one. But yeah, I, I'd what say I, for what it is, um, it's probably meh. But a lot of people are saying, take my money. Um, you know, yeah, you make money. Yeah, I, th I think if it was like the, the regular price, if, you know, if they were selling for 30, 40 quid, blah, 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 I'd say take my money. But for 3D printed and that price, then it's, that would be a pitch for me. I think. Even, yeah. even, even, if it's, even, even if it was like 90 to 100 quid, you know, like limited. Yeah, with your own colours and stuff like that, you know? Yeah, 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 that would be okay. But no, no. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, right? Were, you see this? He was at the Hall of Hall of Is it Hall of Vape in Germany? Um, Hall of Vape. He was yeah. down at um, that one they used to do down in down there. You, um, Steve, um, what like a vape vape fest? <laughs> it was down there. The queues to buy the raffle tickets are massive. Yeah, it's. Oh. it's Sorry, but the, you know, marketing stuff like this feels a bit like like a bit of a scam. Like you know, you gotta buy a lottery ticket to get this thing because, and then you know, it's it's so hyped. But uh, who had it? Was it was it Graham uh, Spears? He had no. Who had one? Who had oh, one? Is Spears it a raffle? Like a raffle? Oh, to the the buy it? It? It's worth the money? It? It. Yeah, yeah. You've got you got to buy a raffle ticket for a chance to yeah. buy it. You're not buying yeah. it. You're buying a chance. You're buying a raffle ticket. Yeah. To have a chance. Nah. To buy one. Nah. That's maybe why they're selling second hand for a fucking grand then. Because yeah. I wonder how many times they've had to book and buy a raffle ticket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, you have to buy you have to be in Facebook. It's one of these ones you've got to tick of my bollocks, I'll tick of your bollocks. To yeah. get them. Fuck that. It literally is. I don't like bollocks. Yeah. Great space to do assault out in one hour. Yeah. Literally, well, it was out. It would. It came out on the market, honestly, and it was just like everybody wanted. It was like the must have one, must have thing, with this. Yeah. Well. Okay. I mean, I don't mind, but I bought that Luna Ultrona, mm -hmm. the Luna Ultrona, for less than thirty quid, and it's stab wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why mm -hmm. would I want that? It, at the time, at the time, it was three D printed. Was only just coming out. It literally just come out. Um, they were making. Well, is this from the time when your hair was still brown, or is this uh, how long it is this? About two thousand sixteen. Sorry. Oh, it's CJ. Yeah, there's always one. Always CJ. No, it's always CJ. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it's about two thousand sixteen, two thousand seventeen. This, um, no, right. and it literally everybody wanted one, and I mean everybody in the world wanted one. And you just couldn't get them. You just you had to jump through. It was it was unbelievable. Yeah. I've never seen a mod that everybody an IN mod wanted wanted that. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mister Anderson. I bet some people made more um, from the, this from selling right, the so tickets. I love but this. Honestly, honestly, you won't you won't believe it for a three D mod. Everybody fucking wanted one. Unbelievable. Everyone. 
I don't believe in hypes, so... Yeah, I'm, Mowgli Vapes is saying, because he just said uh, a little bit further up that he's got... A, I'm using a six-year-old 3D-printed boxer mod right now. It's tumbled down hills when I can toss down the driver accidentally, beat to shit, and it's still 100%. And he said, yeah, cool. try that with a... Um, with a stab wood one and see how it fares. <laughs> I'm, 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 but then I'm, I'm really curious about the material printed like six years ago and the materials now because you know there's more three P three D printed stuff out there now. But I think also the material has gone down in price, so I think the quality of the material as well. So if you got that printed like six or seven years ago, it would be of a much better quality than if you yes. would three D yeah. print something now. Yeah. Well, Shrek's put his pizza order in. Now, if you ordered it from Domino, please make sure there's cheese on it. Yeah. <laughs> Ding dong. <laughs> so, yeah, so what's that? So, we're getting a few pieces, we're getting a few take my money. Um, what do we think? I'm thinking that it's Mark because I wouldn't have spent that much money. Like I say, it can go over a grand for one second hand. Mm. James, what are you thinking? I'm going with a full out pish. Full out pish? I think it's overpriced for what it is. Steve? Yeah. I'm, I'm the same as James. Yeah. Pish, overpriced. Joshua? Yeah, same as them too. Pish, pish and overpriced, yeah. And Mr. Hooks on Funk? Well, I think I made my point clear, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so that is uh, the wall of home. I think that one's going in sort of pish mare, to be honest with you, because we had a, a few that wanted it. But, yeah, it's un unbelievable that mod when it came out, mate. Yeah. Fucking hell. Queues were it's like um, a next sale. Fucking queues are that long. <laughs> <laughs> so, so oh, yeah. So that was your wall of home. Um, up your. Oh, that. you could have any more. I like this. I like no, this we game. Only do three. We only do three. Oh, damn it! I was just so, going to say, forty four people watching, only sixteen oh. thumbs up and one down. Hit that. <laughs> well, they must not like it then. Um. Andrew Jones is saying, you're all wrong. Take my money and my left testicle. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to sell a fucking kidney, I'd tell you. Hang on, hang on. The question is, do you still have your left testicle? Hang no, because it's only a raffle ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Take the other one, no, no. <laughs> what is it, 50 quid for a raffle ticket? <laughs> <laughs> and a ball. Ingvar, you all right, buddy? Yeah, a ball, yeah. Ingvar, Ingvar. So, yeah, so we are coming up to, he's just joined us, but we are coming up to that time. It is nearly half past, and the wonderful Late Night Vape Show is on after us. Yes. So we will go around and say our goodbyes. We will start with uh, Mr. Steve. Thank you very much. Uh, oh. Thank you, Jay and Josh, for coming in. It's always a pleasure to have you two guys here. Benny, James, the cracking show, and everybody in chat, thanks for joining us. And you can join me and Josh tomorrow night on the Laid Back Vape Show, where we have our <laughs> two sponsors. Uh, we have um, Scott from Caused by Scott and Sam from Dispergo joining us. Then, obviously, uh, after that on the night time, you've got the last, for now, 510 Connections. Make sure you are watching that. Uh, Wednesday night, you've got Benny's UK e-liquid mixing show. Then check that out. And then Friday, you've got... JP show and then obviously Simon's show on Saturday night. Check them all out. And obviously Dean's show tomorrow night before he pops back in and kicks my ass. So. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, and I'll pass it on to James. Uh, thanks, Sam. Um, Steve. Like I say, same as um, Steve said, it's nice to have them two of you on. Um, like I said, it's an honor to have um, our host, um, past host, coming on for joining us. Um, Benny, Steve, it's always an honour um, welcoming you two. For the people in chat, you all being stars, <laughs> with all of your comments and all the different films and info that goes on. And um, well done, Belgium, for beating Portugal. Yes, well done, Belgium. You sucked, Holland. <laughs> <laughs> now, you'll see me again on Friday night for the Friday Night Vape Show. No plans of guests at the time being. However, I have got a gentleman handshake with the, an Amatorium Juice. So keep an eye out for that one. And that will be joined with me, um, with Simon62 and Mr. Shrek Bit Reviews. And you'll see me again on a Saturday for the Simon Saturday show as well. 
Oh, yeah. I'll pass that over to CJ. Oh, you would. <laughs> <laughs> Great timing, JP. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for having me on. Um, I really enjoy casting with you a lot. So thank you so much for having me on once again. Um, like Steve said, join us for the Layback Vote Show tomorrow night at 7 pm with our sponsors. It should be a good a good giggle, always is. Um, thank you to everyone in chat. You guys are absolute legends. The show wouldn't be what it is without you. Um, so catch these guys. Um, maybe not. Um, maybe not Jay, but catch uh, these three same time, same place next week. So I'll pass that on to Tom Funk. Oh, thank you very much, Mister Fapen with CJ. Um, well, I might be back next week. You know, I liked it. Thank yeah. you. Thanks for having me. Um, thanks, Chat. First of all, thanks, Chat. You know, you guys make shows and you guys made this show as well. And uh, thanks for all the input. And uh, thank you guys for having me back on. It feels a bit like, uh, you know, being on the old nest again because, yeah. you know, this is where I go, kind of yeah. did my first lives with you guys. And uh, yeah, I love being on her. I might, I might pop in more often. Yeah. Especially for that wall. I like that wall. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tonight is the last episode of the, uh, well, last episode of the the five ten connection i hope you guys will join us uh we're gonna have a bit of a sort of an open room with the uh with the guests that we we had on before and um i'm gonna just wave goodbye not farewell but just uh you know put a come up a period and uh i'm gonna put my link in for the uh mix cloud thing if you guys want to join me over there that would be awesome because i'm making oh where did my jingle go there we, that's so professional this is the 510 radio the 510 radio it will be uh, it will be on uh, very very soon on a regular schedule, uh, but you know maybe some other people who kind of join me. So keep an eye out on that as well. And um, thank you very much, guys, for having me. No problems. Thank you very much. So thank you everybody for joining us in chat. It's been absolutely fantastic. Thank you everybody for you know putting your comments in and everything. Um, thank you very much to my normal course and thank you very much to my previous co-host being on with me. Absolutely fantastic. We've had CJ. Joshua, and we've had the smoothest voice on radio. <laughs> Cheers. Mr. Upton Funk, don't forget to check them out, the Late Back Vape Show tomorrow night. Don't forget to check out the um, season finale for now. Season finale? I like that one. I like that one. Oh, that's going to be the, the cool, 510 dude. Connection. Um, waiting for, eagerly waiting for season two. Um, <laughs> go check them out. And yeah, go check out uh, JP on the Friday Night Vape Show if you do want some Amatorium e liquid. If you just fancy Lemon Pocket, the uh, the whatever it's called, Vitalite and the Beguile. So yeah, so thank you very much. Go over and see Late Night Vape Show there on next. And we'll see you all next Sunday at the same time, same place. So bye for now. Stay safe. Bye. Bye. <laughs>